A surprise here in the legislature as the House refused to accept changes to the bathroom privacy bill. So delegations from the House and Senate were appointed to hash it out. They met in a conference room and we were in that meeting. Take a look at this. Basically, the changes are to appeal LGBTQ rights groups. What it says is it will not criminalize children who use a different bathroom in a public school setting. We never wanted any child to be given a criminal record for simply just being in the wrong bathroom for whatever reason. What the bill now does is it still requires people to use a public restroom consistent with their sex designated at birth or use a unisex space. This does not apply to private businesses. And while there is the potential for criminal charges under lewdness, voyeurism, or trespassing laws, there's also no real penalties if someone uses a restroom that is consistent with their gender identity. But the bill's Senate sponsor says this is not without risk. Going into a bathroom that is not consistent with your birth gender or your birth sex, you, you, will, you are putting yourself at greater risk. And that's, I think that's the best way for everybody to look at it and say, how do I avoid risk? How do I avoid risk of arrest, or risk of alarm, risk, risk of the criminal penalties that go along with it? The LGBTQ rights group Equality Utah says the changes to the bill were issues they had raised and they are glad lawmakers did as it pertains to children. However, the group says it still believes transgender people have the freedom and liberty to access facilities within public spaces. That bill is now on Governor Spencer Cox's desk and there is no indication right now from his office whether he'll sign it or whether he will veto it. You can also expect, if he does sign it, a lawsuit to be filed challenging it. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.